Let us stand up for prayer. Alagbara ni Jesu mi Opa to lai atekun re Ni kawo Ko aso ti ko le she Alagbara lolo mi Alagbara ni Jesu mi children slept with her, slept with him. Because what the children said was, maybe we will have a children from this household so that they wouldn't have to go outside again. Since the mother is dead, the mother that can get pregnant for the, for the father. So they decided to sleep. So there are some tribulation that happens in the past that affect some tribulation that is currently happening now. There are some causes in the past. God, God said, sword will not depart from the house of David and with the anointing of Jesus Christ on the cross they still trust him on the side that was when Jesus said it was finished so that the cause will not transfer to the next generation I don't know if you understand me there is a cause that has been happening in the past that has been accompanying the family of David before I don't know if Pastor B is getting me this is the prayer we will pray oh God my father, oh God, my father. every whole sin every Every whole transgression, every whole causes in my family lineage that is about to come into my present life uh, today by fire, I separate my destiny from it in the name of 
Jesus. I separate my destiny from every old sin, every old causes, every old transgression, every old tribulation in my lineage that is about to get to me now or that my life is experiencing now in the name of Jesus. I separate myself from me today. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I separate myself. I separate myself from it. I separate myself from it. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from it. In the name of Jesus, every generational cost, every generational tribulations, in the mighty name of Jesus, I separate myself from you. I separate my children 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 from you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. God recorded. He said, "Anybody that builds this world again will use his first son." And when they gave back to that son, he has a destiny of his own now. Why use him as a sacrifice? Why use him as a scapegoat? But that cause has been down for ages. That whoever do this, and the father knew about it. Bishop, when Joseph had that dream and told his father. It was his father that first condemned the dream. So family problem, generational causes has been in days way back before today. He said, so you mean myself and my and, my, and, my, and, your, and your brothers who will bow before you. you that is an ex, is indirectly is telling him you had a stupid dream. That this dream cannot come to reality. It is okay if your father is behind the problem. You should be the one who will tear yourself into prayer. Oh God, my father, oh God, my you will father. pray that prayer once again. Every generational cause of my destiny, every embargo placed on my destiny, every embargo, there is a difference between embargo and the cause. Apostle, there is a difference between embargo and a, and a, and a, and a cell and a prison. Embargo will allow you to get a job, you will not get promotion. It is a, a prison will not allow you to get, you, it will allow you to go out at all. Embargo will allow you to give back to a child, but you will not reap it. You will not reap the fruit, the fruit. But prison will not even allow you to do it at all. Sir, embargo will allow you to make money, but you will never see the result of that money. But prison will not allow you to even get there at all. Because you are locked in a cage. Maria Sadaya Kabadu Every embargo placed on my destiny. Every embargo placed on my career. Embargo will allow you to come to Canada. It's just that after 10 years, nothing to show forth. But prison will not allow you to go out at all. Every embargo, every cell that is on my destiny, placed on my career, placed on my ministry, Maliada Rusheda Bariadaha, today be lifted in the name of Jesus. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now. I lift you up. I lift you away. Every embargo on my destiny, on my family, on my job, my career, in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now. 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 In Jesus' precious name we pray. The Bible recorded that most the meaning of Moses was brought out from water. Till he died, that is the battle he was fighting. Till the day he died, that was the battle he was fighting. People were saying that um, Solomon married 700 wives. They dashed in those wives, knew. He was visiting countries. And everywhere he visited, they would dash him wife. They would dash him wife. They would dash him wife. And he finally, he had to go and die in the, in the, in the place of a barn. I'm talking about, I'm talking about old, old prophecy. Old prophecy. You see, so, sometimes... There are leaders, there are ladders. Sometimes there are evil prophets. They are the cause of our problem. This is the prayer we will pray. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. Every evil prophecy. Every evil prophecy. That, is, that is still telling me around. Every evil prophecy. Every that is still working on my life. Every evil prophecy. Every that is still attached to my destiny. Today, I break out from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break out from you today. I break out from you today. Every evil prophecy, every evil prophetic hand 
that has been laid on my destiny, every evil prophetic word that has been spoken on my career, on my ministry, in the name of Jesus, be removed now, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. Be removed. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Let me go out of the scripture a little bit. I don't know if anybody watched that boy, that, that, that brother. He was the only son of that mother. Bishop, he went to Spain. Somebody gave him a letter. Did anybody see that? The news. Somebody gave him a letter. He opened it. He didn't open the letter. He immediately collected the letter. Police came. Real life. I was just reading the news yesterday. The police came. They said, what letter did you collect? They opened the letter. It was cocaine. That is the only son of that mother. That mother was living in a mud. He came back home. He spent three years in prison. We are just talking about it. Three years before they deported him back home. There was nothing. The mother is sick right now. Living in, I have not seen that level of, they were bathing naked in, in an open place. In an open place. All the way from Nigeria to Spain. Some prophetic causes. Some evil causes. Oh God, my father. Oh God, over my the father. life of my children. Every over my destiny. Every, every evil dreams. Every evil prophetic word, every evil prophetic pronouncement from the pit of hell, from the altar of God, in the name of Jesus, I come out from you today. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I come out from you today. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. It's, it's as if you don't understand. I have a brother. I have a brother. He one day. They had an understanding. My father had an understanding with my mother, which is normal. My brother looked at my father. He said, how come you are treating my mother like this? You, this stupid man. You married another wife. And the man had a, yeah, I will call it a mistake. So I had a stepbrother, one stepbrother, because my mother was looking for a boy. And they couldn't, she couldn't get a boy. And my father told him, he said, you are telling me that I made a mistake to give birth to another son. He said, do you even know where you are going to? That is an automatic course. It is just like a, it's just like a sentence. Yes, sir. It is a course automatically. Today, my father is the one taking care of his son. He is nowhere to be found. He is living under the influence of a woman. I'm talking about the mistake of the past that is still speaking on people's destiny today. You, what, what is it you have said? Even me as an example, I had to go into prayer, fasting and prayer. Talk myself out of generational courses. Oh God, my father, oh God, my father. Every, causes every causes that I have brought on myself by my mistake, by my mistake. God, deliver me today me. in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me today. Deliver me today. Deliver me today from every evil causes that I have brought on my destiny from a man of God, from my father, from my mother. In the name of Jesus, God, deliver me by your mercy. 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 By your mercy, Lord. Daddy, deliver me. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we pray. This is the final prayer we will pray. I had that revelation into this morning. I saw a man. The man approached me for something. And I gave that thing to him. Immediately, I gave it to him. That man slumped and died. And people gathered around that man. But I was looking from a distance. It's Nigeria. And they said, who killed him? They said, it's, it's that man that killed him. They were pointing to me. I said, ah. but it was a help that I did now. I want us to pray. Oh God, my father. Oh God, my father. Every unfortunate people around me. You see that some people carrying the mark of death that you don't know. That all you have to do is just step on their toes. And they will, they will, they will attach their death to you. And that is a big problem. That will be a big problem. You know, some people are already destined for destruction. And they will come and they will come and touch you at the point where you don't have resistance. That at the point where the, you will say something bad, and they will say that is the man that killed him. Oh God, my father, whoever is carrying the mark of destruction around me, that the enemy has attached to me, today I separate myself by fire. I del God deliver me today from every unfortunate circumstances 
around me at my place of work in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, deliver me today. Deliver me today. I know a brother in Winnipeg. He was driving 30 kilometers in a 50 zone. In a 50 zone, somebody came out from Sargent's there on, in downtown and he killed the man. He automatically, he killed the man. He immediately they sentenced him straight. They don't want to know. Oh God, my father, whoever is carrying the mark of unfortunate, carrying the mark of death around me that wants to take me along into that pit, God, deliver me today. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me.